Yo, 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 YouTube, what it do? Hydrate 69 aka your monster mobile boy back with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks that I've been using lately stuff that's really going to help you out in creative and getting better for once season 4 comes out on mobile you'll be ready to go that aim will be locked in as well as your editing and with that being said make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel drop a like and comment down below when you think season 4 is coming for us I think very soon in the next 9 days September 30th is my bet but let me know what you guys think down below. And with that being said, let's get it. So something that I've really been trying to work on, and I think I saw it in a It's Jerian video, so shout out to him, he has some really good tips as well, is to keep your crosshair high. And this is really gonna help you hit high body shots as well as headshots. And really I felt like, especially in box fights, I've been kind of struggling hitting like high pump headshots as well as just like hitting body shots consistently if I'm doing fast edits. Sometimes it's pretty tough when you're doing multiple edits, especially when they're very quick and then just trying to get a shot off. It can be pretty tough to see where they are and getting the perfect accuracy. But what I have learned is make sure you guys are keeping your crosshair higher than you normally would because this will lead to bigger shots and I would rather hit like a 200 pump or anything from like 150 to 200 than like a 30, 40 body shot because that really doesn't do much for you. And if you miss a shot, it's whatever. You can just keep playing, like edit the reset the edit and try and get another shot off again or just go and try and take a different wall and reset. But something I've noticed is when you're going for these big shots, it leads to a lot more wins, especially like getting yourself in good positions because even if you don't hit somebody for like max damage 200, if you hit them for like 170, then all it takes is one AR body shot and you can play super aggressive, jump in their box, and usually that's a free win. Something I've been working a ton on in these box fight zone wars, and you'll see I'm doing it in these matches, is I'll do that tunnel where it's just the triangle builds basically, where it's staircase above you, wall, floor beneath, and it's super quick. You're just gonna wanna be able to do this max speed and get out to where you're above everybody, but not to where you hit zone. Now, why I say this is, it puts you in the perfect position where everybody is coming at you, and then you can start looking at people and finding the easiest targets, who's already distracted, and you can pick up some easy kills, some easy third parties, and it's gonna be a really good way in these zone wars with placement points to just rack up points really quickly, as well as it'll transfer over into, game, <clears throat> into games like Arena and stuff, and it'll help you get a lot of nice kills because that's really key for me, at least when I'm playing arena, is I'm not I don't like to play arena super aggressive just because the fights are are everybody knows they're a lot tougher. So in arena endgame, I think it's the best time to get kills. So if you're able to tunnel really quick, kind of box up, edit a window or something out, and just look for these third parties, quick kills that you can get pretty easily, usually with AR spam. That would be a really good tip that I would recommend you guys because that's a really nice way of just getting some free arena points and moving up. Another thing if you guys are playing in our lives or just playing Zone Wars in general, especially the Zone Wars with placement points map, something you really want to focus and work on getting better at is being good at all different zones basically of where your positioning is. Now what I mean by this is a lot of these clips you'll see I'm working on getting high ground, maintaining high ground without falling, dying to fall damage or dropping low and then having somebody immediately take height. So th what you're going to want to do is really kind of get out of your comfort zones. So for me, what I used to be comfortable with is just kind of staying alive, looking for kills like I was telling you guys in the last tip. And this is good, but you want to be able to play super low ground. So when you have no match, you're all set as well as high ground. And like I said, like you just want to, when you're on high ground, try and make sure you're getting kills, looking to get beams on people who aren't protecting their heads, maybe immediately if they're tunneling or for maybe people who have ran out of mats who are all the way on the bottom. And this is a really good tips for that. And it's going to help you in no matter what you're playing, as well as if you're in the middle, what I would kind of focus on is making sure the people above you cannot beam you down. So what I'd like to do when I'm in the middle is kind of use that triangle tunneling like I was talking before, getting far out ahead of the people on height and maybe you could shoot them down and go up and take height. Or if you get at far out, you could do an edit out and look for people below you. Now, if you're on bottom and you're usually low mats or like out of mats, that's usually why you're on the uh, lowest kind of floor on the grass kind of thing. I like to focus on kind of getting up to mid ground. I think that's the key. 
or just kind of staying low key because usually if you're on bottom you have low health as well and you're just really looking to protect yourself get a kill so you can get that nice 50 um, health points and so what I like to do is kind of try and play stealthy use the footsteps to your advantage start crouch walking if you can get out ahead with being right underneath people kind of move as they are what I like to do is look for who's immediately above me and just kind of move as they're the same pace as them you're just going to want to match them and then when the time's right maybe somebody from up top start starts nailing them down with um shots you can come up through the bottom get that easy kill grab their mats heels and then you got builds so you're really just chilling and that's when you're going to want to look for a taking height something i've also been trying to focus in and get better at with these box fights or any kind of stuff in creative like any games i'm playing with you guys because basically that's probably the best way to get good maintain your skill level until season four comes out but basically play smart i'm trying to get better at knowing when to play aggressive and when to chill and zone wars is a perfect example of this because Sometimes, like you know, you can get caught up in fights and zone, you just die to zone, it's moving fast. Or sometimes you're just not playing aggressive enough and you're getting placement points, but you're not getting any kills and you'll just fall behind in the like kill feed as well as just leaderboards and you won't get as many points. So what I am trying to do to get better at this and what I recommend you guys to do is start watching smart players. Me personally, my favorite player is Mongrel. That's who I would recommend you guys watch. He streams a ton as well as posts really good videos and even watching old videos of players you really like, I would highly recommend because it's just gonna teach you based off somebody else's play style and you can kind of adapt it to your own. Now, I'm not saying everything Mongrel does, you go copy because obviously if you're a mobile player, your skill level probably isn't the same. So if you watch them, learn from their kind of game play, learn from their game style, like when they're pushing, when they're not, when they have high ground, what are they doing, as well as low ground, mid ground, what I was talking about before, and kind of developing your own play set, but base it off of these really smart, high IQ Fortnite players. Thank you guys for making it this far into the video. I hope you guys learn from these tips and use them in your own gameplay in the future. And uh, hopefully it'll help you out because it's been helping me a lot, trying to get better, improve at your weaknesses, because that's the best way to get better in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys made it this far into the video, comment mobile boys and then do the two thumbs up emojis just so I know you're an OG and making it to the end of the videos. Just because that's who I like to reward when I do start to do giveaways again and uh, just show some love to. So thank you guys for watching. And if there's a video you would like to see in the future, or like a different type of video we could do, just let me know down below because sometimes it's hard to make new content and uh, I'm just looking for whatever you guys want to watch. But like I said, that's going to be it for me, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.